there's our mailman, Frank. I have never driven the Tesla on a highway by myself. I, I think I've got this under control. Ah, it's just like a little close to the semi. <laughs> Go out and get your pregnant wives a Tesla. Just do it. Guess who's back? Back again. No, but seriously, um, I'm driving the Tesla again, and here is the scoop. I am pregnant, and this baby was due three days ago. The baby has not come yet, so I'm heading to the doctor. The thing is, is when you're pregnant, it is not that easy to drive. Like, it's, it's fine, and pregnant people do it all the time, but uh, it is not the easiest thing in the world to do when you have a watermelon attached to your body and you're not used to it being there. Um, it's just like a little uncomfortable. Well, Chris was going to take me to my doctor's appointment today, but I didn't want him to miss work because I need him to save those days for when the baby is actually here. Oh my gosh, they graded the roads! Yes! If you live on a dirt road, then you know how, there's our mailman, Frank. If, if you live on dirt roads, you know how exciting and thrilling it is when they finally actually grade the roads. So we're heading to the doctor. I told Chris, you go to work, I, I can go by myself. And he then insisted that I at least take the Tesla because it is almost all highway once I get out of this rural land. Um, it's all just one expressway all the way down to the doctor's office and autopilot will be very nice and so thanks Chris the thing that has been a little annoying with driving while I'm pregnant is this is gonna sound so ridiculous but lifting up my leg from the gas pedal to the brake in my Equinox that Chris took to work today um, just lifting my leg up that high and going back and forth between the pedals when I have my my watermelon lump here um, it's just it's like actually more difficult and it kind of like puts pressure on my back it's weird it's totally doable I can totally handle it I can drive my car and be fine the doctor said I'm fine to drive it's, it's just like a minor inconvenience and when you have a Tesla that will go and stop for you it's like a no-brainer right so when Chris was like you can take the Tesla I was like sweet because when I get on the highway I'm not going to have to worry about the stop-and-go traffic um, and hitting the gas and the brake and back and forth I think it'll just be a lot more relaxing I've got the hospital bags packed in the trunk the back trunk not the front I'm still a little intimidated by the front not gonna lie but um, the back is loaded, just in case after this appointment for some reason they're like, it's time, you're going to the hospital. I have never driven the Tesla on a highway by myself. I've seen Chris do it many times. I, I think I've got this under control. And he changed the autopilot settings to make them a little more chill for me, so the car's not going to be as aggressive, if you can even call a Tesla aggressive at all. It will like I have to do the lane changes I'm pretty sure and things like that so it's just going to like follow the traffic and all that hopefully I don't chicken out and it works out well do you need to fix this air conditioning though it's not hitting any part of my body that I needed to hit it's supposed to be 90 degrees today and when you're pregnant that's just never fun. Is there a way to like adjust this thing? Because I feel like it's a crane with little babies. I feel like it's like cutting my neck off and maybe I'll just raise the seat up a little bit. But it's really annoying. I don't remember that happening before. You know when you're pregnant you have to be careful about how you wear your seatbelt and all these things that you guys out there probably never think about. The other thing that I love about the Tesla as opposed to my Equinox, which my Equinox has served me well, don't get me wrong. These seats are so comfortable. 
the lumbar support and just, I don't know, for my pregnant body, it's been wonderful. And the passenger seat is equally comfortable. So I'm already enjoying this ride to the doctor more than I probably would be in my Equinox. Only pet peeve is the car is so low to the ground. It's hard for me to get in and out of the car uh, because I am pregnant. So it's just harder for me to lift myself up. Whereas my Equinox is up high. So that's why I need a Model Y. So just tell Chris, you know, Model Y, I, you know, Model X, that'd be fine too. Oh, I'm going so fast. I didn't even realize it. I should probably put on at least cruise control. But there's a garbage truck up there and it's on the wrong side of the road. On the top of a hill. How stupid is that? And there's a person just walking around. Like, I just, I don't think that's very safe. Don't. Don't recommend that. So I told Chris that um, because he's letting me drive his Tesla, I would record my drive there. Because the last time I drove, it was just down the road to get some bananas. Who knows what you'll get with me? Probably a lot of singing, which Chris will edit out for you, I'm sure. But you're along with me for the ride and see how it goes. See if I can handle autopilot on the expressway, if it doesn't make me too nervous. By the time you guys even watch this, the baby might already be here. Another nice thing about this Tesla is being able to pull out so easily and effortlessly and accelerate really fast. So pulling out in front of people just is not, not an issue. I'm sticking with the cruise control, guys. Right now, not the autopilot. My pregnant nerves are just getting the best of me right now. I can steer. Steering is easy. I have long enough arms that my belly doesn't push me so far back. Then I probably would not be driving at all. I forgot I don't have to hit the brake very often. So Tesla, you just saved me right there from some discomfort. Because I was getting ready to lift my leg to hit the brake. Didn't have to do it. Tesla saves the day. Thermatrue doors. That truck, we have a Thermatrue door. It's pretty great. Why is everyone in the right lane? It's weird. They think they can accelerate as fast as me. <laughs> You're right, I'm gone before you even know it. Right now I'm just driving. I just gotta get used to it, guys. Forgive me. I think I'm gonna go to 77. Unless I see a cop. expressway for the most part so there's not a lot of interchanges or things and lane changing is not that big of a deal for me see I don't know what I'm doing I just hit the blinker and drove over myself when I'm supposed to let the car do it is not on the pedal. It still kept me at my speed. It didn't slow down, so it must have automatically gone to cruise control. I didn't know that it did that. It's kind of nice. but I really, that's not the way I drive. I'm not that comfortable doing that if I don't even know. Like, I had the blinker on and it didn't change lanes. So then I had to get out of autopilot so now I'm just on cruise control. Won't even. There we go. Let's try this again. 
There we go. I just had to be patient. And I think I just tapped the blinker. I didn't like lift it up the whole way. And then Tesla shut the blinker off for me after it had changed lanes. Okay, now I feel better now that I know what I'm doing. This is much more relaxing. The other thing I like about riding in a Tesla, driving in a Tesla, is that it's so safe. And Chris was just telling me the other day that they were doing more tests on the Model 3 or whatever, trying to throw things in front of it and see if it would hit things and it, it wouldn't hit anything. And of course, you have to still be an alert driver, pay attention to what you're doing, keep your hand on the wheel, which you would be doing in any car anyway. Um, but I kind of almost feel like I have a backup driver with me, like I have an extra set of eyes around me that sees things that maybe I don't see. So if something did happen that I didn't catch, there's a chance that the Tesla would catch it. It's kind of nice. This is just so nice right now because if I was driving my Equinox, I would be adjusting my cruise control constantly. I probably wouldn't even be able to use my cruise control right now because everyone's speed keeps going up and down, up and down. I, definitely, I would be steering for myself in my Equinox. So it's kind of nice to just rest here with my hand on the wheel and not have to worry about all of the steering. And my feet are relaxing. Go out and get your pregnant wives a Tesla. Just do it. Even though pregnancy is temporary. I'm surprised that even one car length away is putting me back this far. You just, you can't tailgate on autopilot. That guy was going to try and get over, but I was coming up too fast on him, so sorry. It freaked me out a little. But it's his job to slow down. Am I right or am I right? Tesla knew that. I just didn't trust you. There's so much slow traffic in this right lane. This Jeep behind me wants to pass me probably, so I will get over after this truck here. Nicely done, Tesla. You're not even gonna pass me, I see how it is. I can already tell that your cruise control is not on. And you're not driving a Tesla that keeps you at the optimum speed the entire time that you want anyway. I don't know why I'm checking my mirror in my blind spot. It's just a habit. You gotta be safe, even though the Tesla knows what it's doing. You gotta be safe. This is a pretty sharp curve up here. I've got people to follow. I'm assuming that the Tesla's not gonna just whip me around it at 77 miles an hour. Still going so fast though. Ah! It doesn't feel that fast. In my car, I would feel like I was about to flip over. But I guess if that minivan is still going fast. Alright, alright. Ah. It's just like a little close to the semi. <laughs> I trust you, Tesla. Now, if I could only work up the nerve to do navigate on autopilot and let autopilot do the lane changes for me, it would be a really comfortable drive. I just, right now it would make me more nervous. You understand, right? I'm new at this. I just had a thought. Our child is not going to know how to even drive a real car, probably. <laughs> We'll have to intentionally like teach our kid how to drive a regular car. It'll just be funny because Chris already complains about how hard it is sometimes to shift back to just a normal car. Because he like when he takes my car places, he forgets to turn it off and things like that. Alright, I'm turning autopilot off. No, I'm not. I don't know. I just hit the brake. 
because I thought I was turning on a pilot off, but I wasn't. I pushed down on the stick and you're supposed to press up. I panicked. I panicked, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. But then I just hit the brake and it was fine. Nobody, nobody cares. It's also nice that because the car is in hold, I can let off the brake. It still is like a little scary for me because I'm not used to it. Um, but I don't have to keep putting pressure on the brake and the car will just stay there. Nice blinker. My Tesla would have blinked. This parking lot is always really full. I'm not gonna park that far away because it's 90 degrees and I'm pregnant. So he's just gonna have to be trusting here. I'll park right here. Nope. Park. There. <laughs> Couldn't remember how to put it in park. Figured it out. Woohoo, guys! We made it! Honestly, even if I didn't have the autopilot, just that last bit there where I only had to hit the brake like one time to make all those turns was worth it. Um, it already felt so much better. So, off to the doctor! Hey guys, I made it home. So, safely drove the Tesla to the doctor's appointment and all the way back home. No major issues, definitely learning a lot that I didn't know. It was, for the most part, a very stress-free drive, so thank you to Chris for insisting that I take the Tesla today. The baby's good, I'm good, so one of these days, we'll have a baby. We'll see. <laughs> see you next time.